Hello and welcome to the series of DevOps interview questions and answer. In this video, we are going to focus on a question related to SonarCube. If this is the first video that you are seeing and not visited my channel, I would like to let you know that I have two courses in Udemy that focuses solely on DevOps interview preparation. The first one is AWS interview questions and answer and the second one is 50 DevOps interview questions and answer. The link to this course is in the description of this video. When you visit this course in the Udemy, you will also find a coupon code there that is going to give you the best discount. Now let us go to the question. The question that we are going to discuss in this video is, can you share three different sonar cube quality checks that you have come across? This again is a fundamental question. Let us say you have mentioned sonar cube in your resume. They are not going to ask directly a question that is diving deep into some of the concepts of sonar cube they are first going to understand if you have really used it and what are some basic features that you are aware of if you have used sonar cube then very well you should be knowing some of the code quality checks that you have come across if you have not used sonar cube then i would recommend you to go ahead and learn a bit more about sonar cube in this video i will be explaining you what is sonar cube and some of the code quality checks that you can mention in the interview now let us jump to the discussion board so what exactly is sonar cube why do we need sonar cube this is the first question to be answered right we have a code in the github repository we have a code in the github repository and this code will go to production before it goes to production what if the code written by the developer has some bug in it or doesn't qualify some coding best standards okay or if they are using a particular package which has a security issue the developer might be using an open source package open source package in their code this open source package is not maintained by you right hence there is a very high chance that this particular package might be having some issue or a security hotspot all of this has to be recognized before it gets deployed to production there is no point in fixing this after it goes to production one way to identify all of this definitely is from testing as we know manual testing is not encouraged as of now so what can we do to check some code qualities before the code reaches to production one way is to link our github repository to sonar cube sonar cube can be set up on premises that is you can set it up in your cloud system or in your data center or you can use sonar cube cloud this is something that sonar cube provides you just have to buy the subscription of sonar cube cloud and you will be able to link it to the github repository of your organization what exactly happens when you link the sonar cube cloud or on premises application to github is whenever somebody raises a pr whenever somebody raises a pr pr is a pull request right sonar cube is going to run a bunch of code quality checks the first one is the default checks that are available default check these are some default test cases written inside the sonar cube you can also write some test cases these are called as custom custom test cases you can write some custom test cases that suits your organization and you will be able to adapt it to sonar cube if this test pass then only you will be able to merge it to the production or merge it to the master branch this is how sonar cube is integrated and this is the working of sonar cube now what is the question they are asking you what are some default checks you have seen if you say that you have been using sonar cube then definitely you should be aware of some default checks correct so what are some default checks that you can tell in the interview i will give you some examples of course you can change it based on your experience the first one is what we call as security hotspot we discussed around the security hotspot concept a few minutes ago right so if your developer is using an open source package if this package has a vulnerability then a security hotspot check will fail and we will have to fix it the second one is code smell this is related to the best practice coding best practice not getting followed example adding multiple lines in the code that are not used importing a package that is not being used etc the third one is bug 
if you introduce a code that can cause a potential bug then this check will fail so these three checks you can mention in the interview that you have come across okay there are multiple other checks also if you have used narcube you can change the answer accordingly now how do you present this answer in the interview this is how you can present the answer in the interview I have used sonar cube and also integrated sonar cube for one of the devops projects that i have worked for some of the checks i remember that ran whenever a pr is opened to the repository that is our production repository where it deploys a microservice or one security hotspot second is code smell and third one is bug the first one the security hotspot when it fails it means that there is a package that we have used in our code that is having security vulnerabilities the second one code smell focuses on coding best practices and the third one the bug tells that there is a potential bug that is introduced because of this pr these are some three checks i have come across okay. also in sonar cube i'm aware that we can write our custom test cases also so these tests can also be integrated further to the custom test cases that the developers want to be written for this particular project this is how you can present this particular answer in the interview after this answer they might follow up further regarding the integration of the sonar cube or deep dive into some of the sonar cube specific problem statement that is it for this video speak with you in the next video thank you